question. Are you just saying hello? Hi. Um, <laughs> so we, uh, we're here in Lansdale. Um, and for those of you that don't know, Keystone, um, well, this is our headquarters. We are about uh, 45 minutes northeast of downtown Philadelphia, uh, where we've been uh, not in the same building, but in the same area since about 1945. Um, so, like I said, we are a third generation family owned company. For those of you guys who are not super familiar, uh, we are a full scale LED manufacturer. Um, and we have here the uh, studio that we built uh, during COVID uh, that we call Keystone Live that uh, essentially serves as, um, I guess, a, a static trade show um, for us that we can film and and do trainings. Uh, and like Heather mentioned, this is a resource. Obviously, we're doing this call today from the facility, but um, this is the thing that's also available to you guys, uh, training for you, for your staff. Uh, if you need to get into your in front of your customers with our products, we've certainly done, you know, calls with sign shop contractors where we use this space to get in front of an end user. So this is a space that we not only use for trainings like we're going to do today, um, but also things that you guys can use for a resource if you need to, either scheduling with myself or with uh, either your Yorston or DeAndre rep, or of course your Glance rep as well. Um, so please, I hope you guys enjoy. I'm going to give you a little tour of the place, and then we're going to jump into um, a little bit of the specifics of what we're talking about today, which is going to be retrofitting um, area lights, uh, fixtures, and cobs, and kind of attacking um, you know one application at two different price points. Um, but first, I'm going to walk everybody kind of around the room and give you guys kind of an idea of, of all that Keystone has to offer. Um, pretty quickly because we are a little bit tight on time today. So like I said, we've been around since 1945. Um, and early on, this is kind of the view outside here, out front, um, early in uh, Keystone's, um, I guess, life as a company, we focused uh, almost entirely on uh, ballast at that time. So uh, the really quick version of the story is as technology progressed, uh, we kind of went from ballast to LED drivers. And as you see here, this is a wall that... Um, very, very basic uh, assortment of our LED drivers. We have a tremendous footprint of, of drivers in all different sizes, footprints, um, outputs. I know in the sign channel, we specifically use pretty much two uh, electrical systems for modules. But if you need anything specific, EMRG, um, this is kind of the core of, of, of our company from a technology standpoint. Um, power supplies are really at the heart of everything we do. And it's really something we've been doing. That's the, the 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 part of Keystone that existed the longest is, is our expertise in the power supply field. So um, every product that you see here today um, that has a driver is going to be Keystone driver inside. Um, the fixtures we're talking about are all going to be our own drivers. Uh, that's kind of our secret sauce. So uh, moving along, these are going to be some of our retrofit kits. Um, not something we sell a ton of in the science channel, but uh, I use these for different fixtures, usually um, you know, architectural, something you're going to see mounted on a wall or a ceiling. And this is like a quick kit to retrofit. Fair amount of those. Um, moving on here, you will see this is going to be our screw in lamp section where we have quite a, a wide selection. We are also working on some S14 specifically for the sign channel. So keep an eye out for those coming soon. A uh, wide, wide variety of down lights, as you'll see here, for a variety of applications and install methods. And please keep in mind, guys, I'm rushing because I only have 30 minutes. If anybody wants any more information on any of this stuff, you can get with um, your glance rep and we can set up a time to get a more in-depth conversation of either the entire room or any particular category. So with 30 minutes, it's hard to get all this stuff in. We got a lot of stuff. So A-lamps, PLLs, compact LEDs, uh, pretty much covering all your standard base types. Um, there are some very specific things, I guess, that we don't have, but for the most part, we're going to have it. This is our tube wall, and everybody always wants to take like a social media picture in front of this. Um, this just kind of gives everybody an idea of uh, what is, I think still to this day, our largest category is going to be tubes. Um, you know, we are the third largest producer of tubes in the United States behind GE and Philips. So this still, I mean, I think we've kind of diversified over the past few years um, into fixtures as well, uh, but we still sell a tremendous amount of tubes really in all formats. So T8, T5 is what we have here. And then as we move more into... Uh, the sign world, we get into our sign hero, which is going to be your T12HO um, lamp replacement option. Give me a second. This is a new camera, so I'm still figuring it out, guys. I apologize. So hopefully most of you are familiar with the sign hero. Uh, this is the, the tube that we sell most commonly in the sign channel. Uh, this is going to replace all your standard fluorescent lamps. Um, and the, the nice thing about ours is it does not require uh, an external power supply. So this is direct line voltage. We do have a ballast in here just to kind of illustrate where a ballast would have been, but as you can see, it's disconnected and everything is wired straight to the sockets with 120 to 277. 
Um, so keep in mind, uh, I mean, like I said, we're going to be talking about a very specific uh, set of categories today, um, but we do have quite a tremendous offering. Uh, one more thing I'll touch on real quick is the Sign Champ. This is a newer product for us. So this is kind of a, a prefabricated sign cabinet, double-sided. Uh, we have a graphic in one side. We've got a little bit deconstructed so you can show how easily it is to slide the retainer in and out. Um, but the retainer comes off and then you just slide the graphic either in from the side or the top and very easy prefabricated sign box. So um, that's kind of the space as a whole. Um, yes, my camera's all over the place, sorry guys. Uh, you get an idea of, like I said, the, the, the amount of products that we have to offer. So um, we're talking about some specific ones today. I would need you know more than half an hour to cover all this, but again, keep in mind, you are able to schedule time in here with myself or really anybody to get more familiarized with these products, specifically the sign stuff. Um, so for today's purposes, I wanted to, I guess, does anybody have any questions in the chat for the stuff? Am I missing anything here, guys, yet? Not so far. I think you're okay. good. Um, let me get it situated with the camera here. So uh, today, like I said, I wanted to talk a little more specifically about um, fixture retrofit options. So for a long time, uh, for those of you that have been around, you know, the Keystone business for a while, um, going back, I'll say pre-COVID probably, uh, if we were selling parking lot lighting or area lighting retrofits, the only option we really had was going to be cobs or some version of, let's say, like a, like a PAR or an A-lamp, like you'd see it up here. Kind of cut those off. So those are, you know, we had some version of that um, was really all we had to offer for area lighting uh, until right before COVID, which from a timing standpoint, it wasn't awesome to launch our fixtures uh, as we were getting into COVID, but that's kind of what happened. So um, this is always kind of where we started, right? And to this day, I think, you know, we've kind of flipped, at least when I'm doing, you know, the sales to a sign shop, I've kind of flipped the mentality of, uh, I want to start with the cheap option um, because it used to be this is all we would have, right? So um, now, obviously, one of the things that we try to present to sign shops uh, is the opportunity, not only to sell you the sign stuff you're going to sell every day and the sign hero, you know, your drivers, that kind of thing, but we want to help um, our shops and our customers um, and glance reps and anybody involved in selling our product uh, we want to help you guys get exposed to new dollars, right? So I know like as sign shops, this is not always the first thing you're thinking about, but this time of year, as we get closer, I guess we're into daylight savings time now. Um, these customers are coming out of the woodwork looking for retrofits and repairs. And chances are with you guys doing the pylon signs or whatever it is at these locations, you already have this kind of customer. So I kind of want to talk through really quickly the options that we have for this stuff and kind of how we go about selling it. So Nowadays, we've gotten lucky, I guess in the LED world, we've gotten lucky that the cost of LEDs have come down to the point where replacing a 400 watt metal halide and ballast costs you about the same as it does with our big LED lamp here. Um, so if I'm in a shop trying to sell these products, I always kind of start with our 100 watt cob. This is going to be the one that we sell the most of. Um, and for those of you that don't know on our cobs, we've now gone to selectability. So in this one SKU, as you can see here, you're going to have 180 and 63 watts. So this is going to replace a 400 watt metal halide, a 350, I'm sorry, a, a 320 and a 250. Um, I don't have it on this one, but on we do offer on all these lamps as well, the ability for color select. So in the same lamp, you can have three, four and 5,000 Kelvin. So this is going to replace 400 watt metal halide and a few other SKUs, three different color temperatures, all in one. This is our best seller for parking lot lights, replacing 400 watt metal halide. So this uh, through glance, I don't want to throw out a price there, but uh, I am fairly certain this is to you at the same price or cheaper than a metal halide and ballast kit would be these days. Um, so this is where I always start when I'm trying to sell parking lot lighting. Now, obviously we have different sizes all the way down to a little cute guy here. This is our 12 water. This replaces a 50 watt metal halide. And we have everything in between. So I always start here when I'm with the customer and then we kind of, um, I'm sorry, we always kind of start here and then work our way to the fixture. Um, now, obviously, if they demand a fixture, we can get a lot more money for these. So I'm not going to talk myself out of this by selling the cob. But most customers, this is easier to sell because they're used to doing the metal halide. That makes sense to them. This is easier to sell versus the repair, which is how most of our customers are selling these, especially if they don't have a sales guy. Now, if there's a team, if, you know, if your sign shop has a sales guy in place and you want to go chase this business, these are also in my opinion, fairly easy to sell because of what we've done here, but obviously they cost more. So that's kind of what I want to, what the main thing that I want to point out, if you take one thing away from this, 
you should be selling parking lot lighting, um, whether it's Cobb or fixture. From a price standpoint, we have both options. Uh, both are very easy to sell. And I'm going to talk more about this, the, the, the fixture option here in just a second. Um, but both of these, uh, you know, we've, we've got things built in that make both these systems very easy to sell and understand, not only for your sales team and you guys in the shops, but also the end user customer. Um, so one thing to make note of with these, uh, and like I said, these are about the same price, if not cheaper than your metal halide option. These are going to be direct line voltage. So 120 to 277, no external power supply, no ballast needed. Very easy to install, just wire this straight to the socket and you throw this bad boy and you're ready to roll. So we also have the expander option. So we have a lot of customers that use these or order these and keep these in stock and use these for a variety of applications, including enclosed shoebox fixtures. Um, this will work for enclosed fixtures. It is enclosed fixture rated from a heat standpoint. Obviously size is of concern, right? So that's why we have the expander option as well. The expander is essentially the same thing as the cob. We've just made the ability to have it install closed rotatable socket, and then you open the wings up once you have it in place. So I can show you here, we actually have this in this fixture here, and it fits pretty well. So you'll notice here also in this fixture, we have uh, kind of the aluminum deflector that we have left in place. There are some of these fixtures that to get these to fit, you still have to take that out. Um, we found most of the time that's pretty easy and not too difficult for an installer to do. So um, Cobbs, if, if you're selling parking lot lighting, and even if you're not, you should be. These are a very easy option that should be the same cost as what your customer is used to paying for a repair job, but you can now flip them to an LED retrofit. Um, these are also DLC rated, which means they're eligible for rebates. Um, to be frank, I don't have a ton of customers that are doing rebates on Cobb-based products. I'm not sure how many actually still exist out in the world from a government project, like a, a program standpoint. Um, but because they are DLC, in theory, they are eligible if there are programs in your area. Uh, and that is something that we can help identify as well. So Keystone also does offer free layouts on even the cobs for parking lot lighting. So if you have poles that you want, uh, if you have a parking lot you're trying to get laid out, all we need is an address and an estimated pole height. If you have a survey, that's great. And we can give you a layout with cobs or with the fixture. Any questions about the cob offering before I move on to fixtures? And again, I, I know I'm flying through this stuff, guys, but uh, 30 minutes is, is tight with a lot of this stuff. So any questions on these before I kind of move on to the fixture side of it? Cody, there is a question, um, and I think you just answered it, but just to reiterate it, do, does Keystone do parking lot layouts? Yeah, so um, and I, I, I did, but to go a little more in depth, um, so we can do a very basic layout where essentially we just, it, yes, we do it a few different ways. Mostly it's a one-for-one because one, there are a lot of times customers are not going to be willing to replace poles and move poles. Um, so usually that's how we present it is just, here's your one for one, you know, our product for the legacy or the outdated LED that's in place. Uh, it's a free service and there is a bit of a lead time. So, I mean, I think traditionally we're running anywhere from two to five days, depending on how backed up the team is. Um, I think that's still pretty good in my opinion for a free service. Uh, and then within that, we, you know, once we send the layout, we can make tweaks and changes and, you know, suggestions along the way. Uh, we do also sell polls. Uh, I don't think that we advertise it a ton, but we do offer polls if a customer is willing to put polls in. Um, so yes, short answer is yes. Long answer is yes, with a lot of different variations and really can can tailor that specifically to you and your sales team and whatever you need that to look like for your own knowledge or to present to a customer. And then one other question, is there uh, available inventory on these products or is there a lead time we should be aware of? No, so everything is in well, so everything is typically in stock unless there's like a weird, like we're just a transfer between warehouse. Um, so I mean, generally, yes, these are all stocked items. These are all in stock in three different facilities throughout the country, multiple glance branches throughout the country. Um, and really, I mean, if we're ever out of if we're ever out of stock, it's just like a momentary like week or so because of transit. None of this stuff is made to order. Everything is is ready to roll. Okay, that's it. Cool. So moving on to the fixtures, and I'm gonna be brief. Um but I mean, I'm assuming most people on the call have seen a parking lot like fixtures, so I don't have to, you know, uh, get you used to the concept here. Um, so our fixtures, we have a wide range of, you know, full area light fixtures. I'm really going to focus on the parking lot lighting, but I'll just real quickly show you full wall pack collection, colors, accessories as well. So if you need wire guards, slip fitter mount, bull horns, we've got it all. Um, I down here, I'll show you guys. These are not that new, but a lot of people haven't seen our sports lighter offering yet. 
So these also, we do layouts for sports sliders. Um, the layouts here are a little bit different and they're pretty cool. Um, so we can do these, you know, we can do layouts rated for TV or whatever you need as well. So uh, I'm gonna focus on parking lot lighting really quickly, but wanted to make sure you guys knew we had all this available. High power flood also, super versatile billboard lighting, fields, that kind of thing. So what makes our parking lot lights unique? Um, I think a lot of things, but the, to highlight the, the ones that, are, that make them the most unique is this is our newest light. Uh, so Keystone Driver, like I mentioned, I'm gonna show you here, you can see all of our fixtures are gonna have a Keystone Driver inside, replaceable, serviceable, in stock, not something you're gonna have to have a hard time finding down the road. Sorry, the wiring is kind of coming out, but gravity. Um, so what makes these unique? We've got three different footprints, color and power selectability. The way we sell these is going to be in our stocking special, which makes it very easy to order and stock. We do sell everything dedicated, but the easiest way to order these, as you see in this box here, so everything you see on the box comes included. You have the fixture itself, the slip fitter mount. These also have the option of having an adjustable pole mount uh, with them. So I'm going to show you this here, but the optic swap is our latest and greatest and really changing the game from uh, how these are serviced and installed standpoint. And then, like I said, these are color and power selectable as well. So on this one, the box here is a 70 to 140 water. This is gonna be our small option, essentially of a small, medium, and large. Um, I will say the medium, which is gonna be replacing a 400 watt metal halide is our best seller. Uh, and that's what you're gonna see here is our 140. So what I wanna highlight on the optics swap, um, and this will be a really quick lighting lesson. And if anybody has questions, we can answer them afterwards. So with parking lot lighting, um, you have optic types. Those optic types are gonna determine how the, how the light is spread uh, from the fixture outward. So, I mean, essentially you're gonna have like a forward throw, um, you know, kind of a, a full circular throw and kind of an in-between. Uh, so that's gonna be ty light types is how we, how we phrase that. So you have a type three, type four and type five are the most common with area lighting. Um, so what we've done in the future, let's say you, you know, we did a layout, Keystone did a layout, got everything installed, but for some reason, you have one of these in a corner that just doesn't spread properly and either you're got too much light behind the fixture and you're wasting lumens or you know not enough in front or whatever the issue is the old the old way would have been you have to reorder a new fixture take the old one down install return trip all the nonsense the new way that we've designed it is no tools necessary clips come undone i'm working with one hand here so apologies if this i'm fumbling more than you would be in the field the clips come off remove the plate and we have th all three plates are included. So this is gonna be your optic plate. I don't know if I can get tight enough for you guys to see the difference. But like that's a type five. And if you can see, so you can actually see the plate, the, the lights are a little bit different than how the plastic actually is. I'm polycarb, I'm not being official technical enough there. So you can actually see the difference in the chip plates themselves. So you change out a type five, you throw in a type four, Flip it back up. Just one hand, so I'm not actually going to put that back in right now. And you're done. So what previously would have cost you a return trip, you know, an RMA, uh, shaking an old fixture down, putting the new one in. Now everything's in the box, and you're done in five minutes. Um, so that that makes sense to everybody. What we just did there and how that works. I don't think you guys can talk, so I don't expect any audible responses. I don't think I mentioned in the box. Also, these come with a photo cell. Uh, and also a shorting cap. So if you don't need the photo cell, the shorting cap just kind of completes the circuit. As you can see on this one here, this is the pole mount, the adjustable pole mount, so you can do a tilt as well. Uh, and we do, that is part of the layout as we recommend tilt on on, um, on any that need to be tilted. Uh, we do also, you know, we can do a layout showing supplemental like building mounted ones. Like this would kind of be, this is not one of ours obviously, but that's a fixture that you would order to then mount one of these on the side of a wall. So full a range of fixtures as well, I should mention. Bullhorns, we have triple as well that I don't have to show here. Um, and the unique thing about the unique thing about the way our mounts work as well, and I, this is a little bright, sorry. I don't know if you guys can see that very well, but you actually install the mount first and then slide the fixture onto it. Um, so in theory, my camera's all out of whack, sorry, you're looking at me probably. In theory, you could install these with one person in a truck. Uh, you don't really need a guy to hold the fixture with the way that we've designed the mounts. So we've really made these um, you know, as easy as possible to order, install. Um, as you can see here, this one, I, I forgot to mention, these are also sensor ready. So we have a, a screw in sensor option that's available. If you wanted to put these on our Bluetooth mesh control network, 
that's something that could be done for your larger commercial lots as well. Um, and we also have that built into, you know, wall packs and our new canopy light that's around here somewhere. So uh, a lot of stuff I could touch on more, but we're limited with time. So that's kind of what I have at the moment. Um, I guess we're into the question time now, right, Heather? Yep. Um, so I don't have any other questions right now for this section. Oh, I can talk more if you want. So, <laughs> yeah, I think you, if you want to keep going. Unless yeah, I mean, I'll show a few. Yeah, I guess I'll, I'll show a few more questions. things, or if, if anybody has questions, feel free to throw them in. And, um, so one thing I want to highlight with, highlight with the cobs is, I guess we do have a size for pretty much every um, every metal halide legacy that would exist. And these are all, I got a bunch of these unscrewed up on the table here, but um, thinking about other applications outside of this parking lot lighting, we sell a tremendous amount of these in the sign channel for retail under canopy. Um, you know, really this little guy, is probably our second best seller to the big one just because of how versatile they are. Um, so, I mean, we sell a lot of these for retail under canopy, a lot of these for just anywhere you'd need a traditional bulb. Um, I guess that will fit into a regular Edison. Like I actually have these outside my house. So the new expanders have gotten a little different as well. So the, the bigger the bigger one is still gonna have the wings on it as you see here. And that really is because the larger ones still need the advanced heat sink to kind of make sure everything stays uh, working well. The newer, smaller version, I guess middle-sized version, it does not have the wings. Same heat sink, power and color selectability available as well. Um, one thing I forgot to mention about the cobs that makes ours a little unique versus the competition. I think I did mention heat, uh, but we actually have what we call smart cool technology built into our cobs. So when these things get to roughly 80% of their overall operating temperature, the lumens actually scale back uh, until the lamp cools down. So our return rate, on cobs, which is heat and size are always a concern. Like when I'm out in the field talking to customers, that's one thing I always say, well, I had one that, that burned out or it was too big or not ready for enclosed fixtures. We've kind of addressed all of that really with our with our smart cool, with the heat sink, um, the size of ours. I'm not gonna say that every one is the smallest in its own skew, but as a whole, our line is the smallest across the board. And as much as anything will fit, ours will fit. And again, I'm not, by no means am I guaranteeing that every lamp will fit into uh, you know, every application. I think last last time we kind of did a, a hard check is most of the stuff would fit into about 80% of what you see on the field or out in the field from like a standard shoebox um, standpoint, so. Cody, we do have a question. Uh, can you cool. talk a little bit about the warranty on these products? Yeah, so all of our lighting products are going to have five-year, 50,000-hour warranty. So five-year is the warranty, 50,000-hour um, is not really the warranty. I guess that's a lifetime technically. And within that, I'll even go as far to say that, that most of our products will last well beyond, well beyond 50,000 hours. For us, that's more of a degradation time. So at 50,000 hours, essentially, um, you know, that lamp is going to have degraded to, you know, probably about 70% of what its original output would have been. So that's more of a, a degradation than it is a lifetime for us. Most of our products will last well under the 70, 75,000 hour range, assuming they're within the original, um, you know, heat, guide and most most of our products are going to have like a heat regulation on them which are crazy high and crazy low so unless you're like in a polar extreme you're probably not hitting those but yeah if it's five year fifty thousand hour um and it's pretty easy to just return to I mean, honestly most time we're going to tell you to field scrap it unless we have a particular concern about testing so usually it's just as easy as getting a return from glance or a credit or whatever you're looking for what else and I did have a question over here about vapor types, which okay. if you have if you have a minute to talk a little bit about those. Was there a specific question or just do we have Does, them or do you have them? How or what do you use for canopy lighting such as sure. vapor types? Cool. Yeah. Let me uh, that's I have a little section actually. So we sell two different things for I guess I'll I'll, I'll say two options for like awning slash canopy and then one canopy specific. So what you see here is gonna be our micro strip product here, which I'll say is great canopy for like damp dry, or great option for like awning canopy for damp dry. And then here you're going to have our vapor type. So that's going to be more of our wet option for those kind of, uh, those kind of applications. So these are going to come in, you know, all the, all the different links you're going to need. Um, and they are, these are selectable as well when you take the lens off. Uh, I can't really show it very well because this one's so tied up to the other one, but there is a knockout. I guess you can see it. There's a knockout on the end, so you can run these in, in with conduit pretty easily. They install very easily. Uh, we saw a lot of these for car washes, like, you know, rental return centers where they're doing things like that. Um, 
we sell, I won't name them, but I mean, if our people on the line wanted to guess the two largest, you know, wholesale manufacturers of awnings and canopies in the country, we sell both these products to both of them. Um, and then also where is that? over here, we have a new actual canopy light option um, that is available. So we have this guy here that I can send out. And please keep in mind, all these items, we'll send you samples, spec sheets. You can request all this stuff from Glance. Anything you want here, we can talk about. Um, this is our new canopy light as well. Um, the only thing about this to know is we do not have a gas station explosion proof uh, version currently. We are working on it, um, but this is what we got. Um, I know I'm running tight on time. So I mean, we can, if somebody wants to connect offline, we can get you a sample of this, send this out. Oh, my camera's gone wonky on me. Okay. So. Um, I have one more for you. Can the expander cool. cobs be used in a single-sided cabinet with a base? Oh, that's a good question. Um, I, I would, I would say technically yes. Uh, my concern would be, I guess I the, I'd need to know more information. Um, technically yes, but you you're going to have more of a concern with shadowing because you don't have anything bouncing off the back of the cabinet to help light the front. If that makes sense. So like I would say in most applications, unless it's just a really big single-sided sign. Yeah, I guess it depends on what's in place. So the short answer is yes. Long answer is yes, but I would want to know more information to make sure it's like a definite yes. And I, I mean, I could probably recommend, there's probably something better, but short answer is yes. Whoever had that question, feel free to reach out to me. We can get more specific. Got it. All right, are there any other questions for Cody as we wrap up here? I also want to make note too, before we totally get off, if anybody is in the the Northern... I guess where what you call this area, uh, South Jersey, Philly area. You, this is a, you can schedule time to come check the place out and get a tour. I mean, I'm not always here. I live in Nashville, um, but we always there's always somebody here that can give you a tour of the facility. Uh, we're actually running one for Northern State Sign Association tomorrow. So if any of you guys are involved with that, we'd love to see you come out. If the registration is not full, I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, we're pretty open. We want to do more calls like this. We want to do more in-person meetings like this. I mean, I'm. I'm always available to do demos. We have, you know, uh, obviously the Glance team is available to help do demos. Um, so anything you guys need, get with me or Glance rep to schedule. And we are more than happy to do some version of this in person, another version of Keystone Live. I mean, I got, you know, half hour or so later this afternoon. So anything you guys want, let me know. We're always here to help. Oh, something's dying. So. All right. Well, Cody, we appreciate you doing this and taking the time. And for the customers on the line, if you do have questions, uh, would like samples, please feel free to reach out to your Glance branch or your uh, sales rep. Um, we work very closely with Cody and we will get you taken care of. So thank you for hosting today, Cody. Thank you, Cody.